So I'll show you around the uh, house here in a minute, show you what's going on. But I wanted to address a few things first. I've been doing some experiments with videos recently, kind of going back and showing you uh, compilations videos where I'm tying a bunch of videos together about our first days or beginnings of off-grid living in a tiny house. The first one I did was uh, the first five days we were here, kind of getting the camper set up and the solar panels. And that was a very successful video. It was really successful. The next video I did, I showed you kind of a history. It wasn't really a compilation, but a history of installing the well pump, the second well pump. And that, that one didn't do well. And then the third one was the beginnings of the tiny house build. And we put up all four walls. Although it didn't do as well as the first video, it did pretty good. Now, down in the comment section, I, I feel like the overwhelming majority of the commenters who commented wanted to see more. That being said, there was three commenters, of course, that had complaints about it. Uh, one commenter said that they wanted me to take the music out of the video and put just the construction noise. Another one said they wanted me to take out the construction noise and just leave the music. Well, that's a toss up. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. And then the final one was I watched it the first time and it was a terrible design and a terrible build the first time. Why would I want to watch it again? That was the critical comment that made me decide, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do these compilation videos. <laughs> Yeah, that's my troll. I actually, I'm pretty sure I know who the troll is. I've had him for years. Here, the uh, this the video is me putting the windows in, the door, and putting the trusses up, which I designed. No, no, that's not true. Which I built myself out of a design that my father bought for me. We're gonna go and buy two by fours. We start uh, framing our trusses. I know a lot of people are gonna tell me you can't use two by fours. But seriously, you should do your research on two by fours. Most houses actually are built with two by fours, I'm finding out. Then I'm gonna really take my time and get the first truss completed. And once that first truss is completed to my satisfaction, then I'll disassemble it and I will copy each board eight more times. Because I need nine trusses, so the first one will be done. And that way I'm cloning the first one. I don't have to go and measure every one. I can just draw the line, cut, draw the line, cut, and they all should be exact. So today's project is I'm going to install the window here. None of our windows match. All our windows are different. We bought them at a yard sale and the Habitat for Humanity restock shop and got them really cheap. I think we ended up saving $700 on the doors and windows by finding used Actually, one of the windows is brand new. It's still wrapped up. Uh, no, I took the wrap off. But that one right there is brand new. It was still wrapped up and had the instructions on the window, the whole thing. He bought it and didn't like it, so he didn't use it. So we have two kinds of windows. The first window is called a new construction window. And then all the other windows are called replacement windows. The difference between new construction and replacement is this seam, this, this plating right here. On new construction, you'll be able to put this window right up into the hole and just nail it or screw it, either one, you can Google it, you can use nails or screws, I'm gonna use screws, right into place. Once you have the siding on, you can't put a re new construction window in because you'd have to take all the siding off to do that. So they have replacement windows. So what you do, if you ever have to replace a window, is you cut this out. The window will fall out, and then you just slide this window in, and you have to screw it from the sides. I don't like replacement windows as much as uh, new construction windows, but that's what we got. Again, a lot of people are disappointed that I went vertically with the house wrap and not horizontally. Again, you should Google that because Google clearly, I mean, Everything I read says you can do either or on the walls. So if you do vertical, you're supposed to give a foot, a six inches to a foot of overlap right here. If you go horizontally, you got to give six inches. So, you know, six inches either way, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to tape it just for that extra security. And see, you, when you're building things, you do stupid things like this. I put a nail there. I'm going to take that nail out because I got to get a window in there. That's where the, this is going to fit right up against it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal around the window 
That, that way when I put the new construction up against it, it'll seal real nice and tight with the sealant, keeping the air out. There's the, the new window, slides up and down, easy. Got two latches, it's double pane, so it raises fairly easy. Today I'm gonna to install one of the windows. This is a replacement window. I'm gonna use these pieces of wood here, and I'm gonna put them on the outside like this. One or two for every corner, you know, for every one there, one there, and so forth, so on. So that way, all I got to do is pick the window up, slide it in, and slide it up against that wood, and then I can just screw it in. That way it doesn't fall out on me, and it'll be perfectly square to where I want it. All right, so I got my boards attached. My So we got the window in, the window's locked perfectly, everything lined up, no twisting. I can open the window. Okay, so the window's in, I'm gonna install the door. It's a very heavy door, so I have to figure out a way to get it up into the wall by myself. So I've devised a little system here. I've got my ladder, and what I did was I ran my ladder on the beams of the trailer, my tiny house trailer. This portion of the trailer is going to be the front porch of our house. Just stack some bricks up, put the door on it, and I'll slide the door up to the wall, and then hopefully I can just lift it up and it'll slide right into place. Okay, got the door installed. So today we're gonna to install the third window. Okay, so I got my two boards up and the only thing that's gonna do is keep me from dropping the window out Okay, so the window's in. Okay, so the window's in. I'm on the outside now. 
Okay, so today I'm back at the tiny house build to make the rafters, the roof, the attic. And I laid out one side of my rafter. I laid it out, I had two two by fours and that's all I needed. The top rafter, the angle cut is one board and then I'll come down with another board. This bottom rafter, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and cut it six feet and I'll just use two boards at six feet and tie them together. All right, so here was my original line that I drew out from the chalk line. So I'm going to square all this back up, and then I should be able to get these boards to line up perfectly. So now I've kind of laid out the entire rafter system, both sides. It's not... Okay, so I know I can't get it all in the picture, but that's most of it. That's what the rafter looks like. And uh, i got to make eight more of these. Now, all i got to do is pick up this side and start duplicating these cuts. I literally just have to pick up this board and cut it again and again and again. Actually, since I'm doing it eight times, I gotta cut this board 16 times because it's duplicated on both sides. So, just like that. So everything that I cut on this side once I get this picked up, I'm not gonna pick my screws up. See, I screwed them in to the side here. So all I gotta do is just, I can just pick it up and then I can put my next board in here. Uh, I drew lines, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark in here. So I know exactly where that goes. So all I gotta do is just set my boards down on my next set and start putting it together. After I finished the video, I realized that I had forgotten a board. So I wanted to fill this in on the video. It's not gonna be edited correctly, but I know if I don't say something in the video, a lot of people are gonna tell me that I built the rafters wrong. So I forgot to show you that I have to add a board here. Sure does make you feel good when you build something on your own. All right, so you can see that uh, I've got it raised up, the, the first truss. So I got the second rafter in. Well, there it is, the other end rafter. Now it looks like a house. <laughs> All right, so do me a favor so we make sure this video gets put out. Please hit the thumbs up. I'm gonna put an up next box at the end, right here at the end of this video of the last compilation of the house build, the first four walls. In that video, 
At the end of that video, you'll see an up next box right at the end of the video that shows you the playlist to the entire build. So, or you can just go to my channel, click on playlist, come down to tiny house build. And it has most of the videos. It's got 125 videos in there. Not all the videos are in there. I couldn't find them all. So I hope you enjoy these videos because these are, I'm not complaining, but these are quite a bit of work. I got to download all the videos, which takes a lot of hotspot and we pay for hotspot off my phone. And then I have to edit all those videos and then re-upload it. So it takes quite a bit of bandwidth and I'm not complaining if, if we like them. So if you'll click this up next box, it will take you to that next compilation video of the four walls. So I hope I can inspire you to build your dreams when you're living your dreams. Thanks for watching.